16. And in this session, we'll speak about uh, using Excel efficiently. Efficiently using Excel is a must if you want to do financial modeling. If it's going to take you too long uh, to uh, sort of navigate through the model, uh, then uh, financial modeling is simply not going to be possible. Uh, the key to, to good modeling is speed. And to get speed, you need to know a lot of uh, shortcuts. Now, please note that uh, uh, these are a list of useful shortcuts uh, uh, when, you, when you start modeling. But you cannot learn all the shortcuts at one go. So, there will be some shortcuts uh, that you are going to use again and again. So, for example, navigating through sheets, uh, uh, inserting a new row or a column, selecting the full uh, uh, sheet, or probably copying a, for a formula from, uh, from one cell to the other. So, the key to, uh, to enhance your speed in modeling is by, uh, uh, is by uh, basically learning the shortcuts uh, that you're going to use again and again and not trying to learn a hundred shortcuts. Now, first of all, let's, uh, let's try to focus on uh, some of the basic editing uh, shortcuts, editing and saving Excel shortcuts. These are a must to know. So, for example, to save a workbook, uh, the shortcut is Control S. Now, if you are uh, creating a model, uh, my suggestion would be uh, to save it uh, from time to time so that there's no chance that you lose a lot of work, right? So, for example, if I have my Excel, uh, whatever I've done, I've started creating my model. Let's call this uh, model for testing, right? So, the first thing uh, that I've done is that uh, I'll save the workbook by pressing Control S. Is that okay? So let's save it here. So this is my test model. Is that okay? So control S is to save the workbook. It's a must to know, right? And you should keep doing this again and again. We, I hope we all know control C, control V, control X and control Z. Control C is to copy, control V is to paste, control X is to cut, control Z is to undo, right? If you want to select everything, uh, then control A is the shortcut, right? Obviously, if you want to switch between programs, then Alt Tab is the shortcut, right? Alt Tab is, is to switch between programs. Again, this you might find uh, very useful as you move forward, right? Now, these are the very basic uh, Windows shortcuts that are there, and I do hope that you already know these shortcuts, right? Now, uh, let's get to uh, some of the uh, formula shortcuts first. So, this is the second one that we are going to focus on. Now to start a formula, uh, you usually start with an equal to. So for example, let's say if I want to create a uh, profit and loss uh, model, right? So I told you, let's reduce the uh, size of these two. Uh, let's increase the size of this one, right? So I have uh, my uh, p and model, right? In my p and model, the first part is the revenue. Then I have the... COGS. Then I want to calculate, uh, let's say, the SG and A. Then I get my operating profit. Right? So, if you write this, let's say if this is 100, my cost of goods sold is 20% of the revenue. So, to start the formula, start with an equal to 20% multiplied by the revenue. This gives me the cost of goods sold. So, to write a formula, don't press this or, or don't use this. Just say equal to, use your uh, keyboard to navigate to the first one, then whatever you want to do. So for example, let's say if this is 15% of my revenue, then equal to 15%, then use your keyboard uh, to navigate to the revenue and, and just press enter. Is that okay? So if you want to write the operating profit as equal to, right, use your uh, keyboard to navigate to revenue minus COGS minus the SGNA. Is that okay? So, so if, if you want to start a formula, then start with an equal to sign. Is that okay? If you want to auto sum everything, so for example, if I wanted to sum everything, then the shortcut is alt equal to. So the shortcut is alt equal to. If you want to uh, sum the full column, this is sometimes going to be very, very useful for you. Uh, just use this alt equal to. Uh, again, uh, some of these you might not use too often. If you want to recalculate, so for example, if you're using a random number function in your uh, Excel sheet, so let's say if, if I'm going to have, uh, 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 let's say one of my uh, uh, other costs, 
as a random number between 10 and 20 so I use equal to rand between is that okay now to complete this formula so for example I start with equal to rand right if I want to complete this don't press enter press the tab tab is that okay so the tab key and let's say between 10 and 20 is that okay so this is my other cost if I want to recalculate if I want to go uh, press the F9 key to uh, to sort of uh, recalculate all the workbook is that okay oh, sorry. just hold on one second yeah so this shortcut you might find useful so apart from this uh, if you are uh, let's say uh, uh, if, you, if you are navigating through the model uh, then uh, if you want to go from sheet 1 to sheet 2 the shortcut is control page up and control page down is that okay control page up and control page down to navigate between different sheets is that okay if I go to the next sheet then control page down if I want to come back to the first sheet control page up is that okay so if, if in my uh, second sheet I want to write a formula for let's say profitability ratio so let's calculate the profit first so I want the profit let's assume there are no taxes so my profit is basically operating costs uh, operating profit minus the other costs that are going to be there right so let's call this as my PNL right so uh, if I want to go to the next sheet control page down without using the mouse you can go to the next sheet let's uh, let's call this as the uh, as the ratio sheet right so I want to calculate the profitability ratio so to edit a sheet let's say if I have uh, uh, entered something I want to edit it edit a cell the shortcut is F2 press F2 it starts editing just press uh, um, the delete thing and will delete the last one right so my profitability ratio is my profit divided by revenue is that okay so press an equal to sign use control page up use your uh, keyboard to come to this one if you want to navigate fast from a filled cell to a filled cell press control and the down arrow control and the up arrow you can see that my uh, my cursor moves very fast right if I want to navigate slowly then just use your arrows so my profitability ratio is profit divided by my revenue is that okay so this is my profitability ratio is that okay so use equal to control page up control page down and and then sort of do that if you want to select the range then press shift if you want to select the complete range so for example if I want to select this full thing if I want to navigate fast then control up control down down arrow if I want to select the full thing control shift down control shift up is that okay so shift it is to select so for example if I want to select these three then it's like this right if I want to sum all my costs let's say if I want to calculate the operating profit as a revenue minus sum of costs so minus sum of if I want to select both of these then shift down is that okay shift down and enter is that okay so this calculates the uh, profit for me is that okay if I want to convert this into percentage the shortcut is control shift 5 so formatting shortcuts so let's take a look at the formatting shortcuts if I want to convert it into, uh, into percentage uh, uh, then the uh, uh, then the shortcut is control shift 5 is that okay uh, otherwise if you want to go to the formatting button uh, then the uh, shortcut is control 1 the shortcut is control 1 and, and then you can change any of these uh, formattings that you want these this is some of the shortcuts that you're going to use again and again yeah so for example if I want to increase uh, one decimal space then just click on this one and just press enter is that okay so this this converts that into a percentage right so control one is the shortcut to go to percentage right yeah so control one is to uh, just hold on So control one is to uh, format a cell, right? So that sort of uh, gives you the ability to uh, to come to a format cell on its own. So control one is to come to format a cell. 
Now, uh, one shortcut that, that's going to be very, very useful as you move forward is if you want to see the source of this, right? You want to navigate this model. So, one thing is you are seeing this PNL D8 and PNL D3. Now, obviously, if you use control page up, you can see uh, uh, what these two cells are. But that's sort of going to be uh, very cumbersome. So, shortcut to go to the first source, let's say if I want to go to PNL D8, the shortcut is control back square bracket. Control back square bracket if you see it takes you directly to profit, right? So uh, if, if I want to show you how, how that's going to work So let me hide this one. So I'm using a uh, control um, no, Let me use another color pen. I'm using control and then I'm using the back square bracket Is that okay to to go to one of these uh, cells so control back square bracket f5 and enter to come back to come back use F5 and then use enter yeah so use F5 and enter to come back to the old cell so for example control back square bracket takes me to the first cell F5 and enter takes me back so the first cell please note out here is D8 so if I press control uh, back square bracket it's going to D8 F5 enter now obviously there are two uh, sort of two sources to this formula if I want to uh, uh, see both these sources right if I want to see both these sources uh, Then I can use a formula auditing uh, toolbar right I can use the formula auditing toolbar or Or what I can use is uh, uh, Use the trace precedent and trace the dependence right so alt T sorry alt T U and then uh, T is that okay? So alt T U T sort of uh, takes me uh, 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 Shows me all the um, uh, all the formulas that that all the cells that are sort of uh, uh, forming a source to this one. In Excel 2007, you can also use Alt M P or Alt M D. Is that okay? So Alt U T or Alt uh, M P. Then double click on this one, and you can and you can see both these formulas that that form as an input to this one, right? So if I want to go to the first one, I double click on this one. I get to the revenue, I see what exactly is coming as an input, F5 and enter to come back, right? So when I'm auditing formulas, these uh, these uh, three things, this one, this one, uh, and, and this one, and F5 and enter to come back is, is going to be very, very useful for you. Is that okay? So um, now let me show it to you on a, on a keyboard as well. So all I'm using is I'm using... Uh, Alt and then I'm using T, then I'm using T and then I'm using T, Alt T U T. So I'm using Alt T, then U and then I'm using T. And if I want to remove this, then Alt M A A. If I want to remove this, Alt M A A. Is that okay? To remove the arrows, the shortcut is Alt M A A. So Alt M A A to remove the arrows. Is that okay? So, so this, uh, uh, when we are creating a model, this thing is going to be very, very useful for you, right? So you should uh, remember these auditing formulas, right? Uh, otherwise, uh, basic editing formulas, if you want to uh, select a row or a column, right? Then this, uh, then this shift space bar or control space bar. Is that okay? So shift space bar and control space bar is to select a row or a column. Again, going to be useful. If you want to insert a new row or column, uh, then I say I've selected a row, I want to insert a row, then Alt I and then R. Alt I and then R or Control plus. If I want to go back, Control Z. Is that okay? Alt I and then R or Control plus. Is that okay? So similarly, uh, if I've uh, selected a column, then Alt I C. Alt I C. If I want to delete this, Alt E and then D. You can use Control plus or you can use uh, uh, Control minus to sort of uh, insert columns. Or delete columns right so so these are again going to be used for you right so out of these uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 these shortcuts that I've shown you probably you need to remember 10 or 15 of these shortcuts so that are going to be very very useful uh, let me use another uh, colored pen for you to show you what could be possibly you, you could remember so these are the shortcuts that I think you should definitely remember uh, again, uh, these are the shortcuts I think you should definitely remember, right? Uh, 